For this video, we're trying a couple of new things. Uh, first, we have a new version of software. We're also going to try it in different levels of a parking garage. And we're also going to try the come to me button on the main page of the app versus telling it where to go under the summon option. Okay, up first, we're uh, inside the parking garage. Uh, so it shouldn't be able to use maps for this. And in the top right of the screen, you'll actually see uh, what it sees, which is really cool to watch this uh, uh, path update. The bottom right, you'll see from the inside of the car. And then, of course, on the left side here is the outside looking at the car. You can see here it actually changes direction a couple of times and they're uh, selecting its path. Ultimately, it decides to back up to the left and then pull out to the right. It probably would have gone to the end of the aisle and back through, but we started to lose visibility on it and decided to stop it there. For the second test, uh, we spun the car around so it was facing out. And uh, as soon as we pressed the come to me button, it, it pretty much picked a straight shot straight towards us. Um, it does seem a little less confident uh, inside this parking garage than it did in the open parking lots, which I think kind of makes sense. Um, it does stay to the right side of the lane here um, and uh, comes straight to us. In fact, it even turns towards us here at the end uh, to get as close as possible. So not too bad. For our final test, we went to the top of the parking garage. So it's possible it could use map data for this. However, uh, as you'll see, it does seem to pick a different paths. Right now, it, it seems to want to go to the right, as you can see in the top right uh, of the display, um, towards uh, my wife on the right side of the parking lot, but then quickly decides to uh, go straight down this, this aisle. And we actually stop uh, right here because we weren't quite sure where it was going to go. Uh, once I caught up to it, uh, we started it back up here, as you'll see in the top right. It continues to, to drive pretty straight down this aisle, no problems, um, and then started to get away from me. And I was a little bit concerned because of these uh, concrete barriers that um, we could run into a problem. So as it got up to the, the end here, uh, I asked my wife to stop it until I could catch up. So we kicked it off again uh, here and uh, pretty much picked up where where it left off. And uh, if you look in the top right, it, it looked like it was going to find its way around this corner. In fact, it, it detected it as an intersection, said so slowing for intersection. And then it seemed to detect something uh, and decided to, to back up a little bit and, and cut the corner a little bit tighter. As it comes around the corner, there are uh, little speed bumps, uh, small ones. It didn't seem to phase it at all, just went right over top of them with, without any issue. And it was going slow enough where it wasn't really an impact. Then it uh, pauses again here, uh, detecting what it thinks is an intersection. Uh, it goes around the corner and, uh, and where my wife is standing off to the edge. You can see that it drove through uh, those parking spots, so it doesn't seem to, to really care unless there's cars. Uh, in the spots, of course. So clearly that was a, a pretty challenging set of tests for the car in this parking garage, but it did uh, pretty well and it was kind of fun to test out its capabilities. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more videos.